Hi everyone. I wanted to talk about how some of some of us are having this struggle of having this extra time on our hands, yet it's interesting how some of us are not finding the energy, motivation to do things that we could be doing that feel productive or that feel like we're healing ourselves or that feel creative. And it's interesting because like there are a lot of us that have the time. What happens? Like for me, you know, I do have some extra time and um, I have a job that I do at home and so I spend more time doing that because I don't have really any other income right now. So five to six hours of my day goes to that. And then the rest of my day ends up, you know, I'll be walking my dog and I might be reflecting, communicating over text, reading things, listening to things. And then by the time the day's done, I'm like, damn, I still haven't started doing this project or I don't know, gotten those things done that I can do now. Like it's, it's kind of interesting how the more time there is, really, it doesn't actually make a difference because there's certain things that get done when they're supposed to get done. So a lot of us struggle with this nothingness. Um, in the nothingness of like basically doing nothing or doing things that don't feel productive. I mean, that is what you're supposed to be doing right now. And it's not unproductive, actually. So what's happening is uh, most people have been in a place of movement and go, 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 movement, movement, movement. And as much as all of this is terrible and there's deaths and everything like that, there is some huge shift happening for a lot of people who are connecting to parts of them that they've never been able to really connect to because there's never really been a whole, maybe in, in their lifetime, a stop, like a whole complete stop in the world. The only ever time we really ever experience that is like if we're really sick and then we're forced and some people still try and go to work and do things like that. But when you're really sick, you have to, you know, stop. And I find sometimes that feels good because it's like a detox and a shutting off of, of the world and everything I do. So there is actually productivity in the, in the, in the stopping of doing. The stillness is actually a place of, um, learning because when we are always moving that's just a distraction it's a distraction from ourselves it's not always because when we're moving we're creating possibly we are learning we're growing but a, a lot of the time it people get over over or carried away with the whole process of getting into um like almost like an addictive workaholic type behavior and they don't so then when they do have downtime they they feel guilty oh I can't be sitting here I got to do this so I should do the dishes I should do that and it just ends up being like this continuous movement and that's why this time is so important in addition to many other things but for many people it's a time of stillness and the stillness is where you 
can learn more about yourself because then a lot of your struggles will pop up or certain deep thoughts, things that you didn't want to think about before, but now they're coming and creeping up. So the lack of apparent productivity is actually quite productive because <laughs> it's, it's an illusion. You think you're not being productive, but you are. Keep in mind, there's really nowhere to go. Like, when we're constantly trying to get somewhere and do something, it's like we have this illusion that we have to get somewhere. But really, where are we going? <laughs> there's no, like, time is so relative. Like, there's, I mean, time, yes, there is so much time on this planet. And there's certain things that, you know, ideally we'd like to get done, but how much of that is really in our control? Or do things that are supposed to happen, happen? It's not that you're just sitting there and you're just going to wait for stuff to happen. No, you, you do create your life and you, you create the movement, but it's, there's a difference between flowing with what's supposed to be and forcing things that are not supposed to be. So if you're sitting in stillness right now, nothingness, and you don't know what to do, forcing yourself to do something that you think you should be doing will not help. <laughs> will not, it won't do anything. What that will do is it'll make you tired. And some of you may even notice that you're more tired than when you're working nonstop. And that's simply because there's a huge transformation going on, one, for one. Two, um, when you're not moving, it's almost like it takes more energy to be still because you're so used to moving. Like, it's like you feel more tired because you're doing less. It's kind of contradictory, but some people might be feeling that too. Um, but I'd say the major thing is there's a lot of... Uh, energies and processes going on and and a lot of people are facing a lot of things that they never had to face before so it's taking up a lot of energy whether it's your own stuff or the global energy of everything going on encompassed into one each and every person ha uh, has some sort of capacity to be able to feel that and subconsciously or consciously is is feeling it and being possibly more fatigued by the energies. So it is very normal right now to feel tired and not even feel like doing that much, even though, again, you think you should be. So I just invite you to allow yourself to bring, your, bring some acceptance into this state of stillness, nothingness. And, you know, there's probably people who've already come to that point, and some people are still struggling with that. And it's okay, you know, it's just, it's just another, to be honest, being in stillness is kind of doing something. You are doing something, something that could be potentially more productive than doing something like, uh, I don't know, cleaning your whole house, you know? So just allow this stillness to sit with you for a moment, this feeling of, I don't need to go anywhere, I don't need to do anything, I'm just here with me right now. Yes, there's a lot going on around me, but imagine you are just sitting in the center, within your heart, within yourself, and the whole energy of the planet is just moving around you. And you're just observing. You're just the observer right now. In addition to observing the external world, you're observing yourself. You're observing your mind. You're not having to do anything about it. You can just accept that you're in a state of observation right now. It's not necessary that you have to heal or do anything in particular, but if it's meant to, it will. It will be there. You'll find some tools or you'll find some guidance, right? Know that if you're meant to, you know, do some sort of a class online, you'll be there. And if you happen to forget about it or you miss it, you weren't supposed to be there.
quite simple. It just came to my mind now that I was supposed to do an online meditation today. <laughs> and I totally forgot. Um, and I'm accepting it because today wasn't a great day and I chose to sit with the pain, the emotional pain, and then I allowed myself to go into silence and healing spontaneously in, a, in the bathtub with intuitively choosing crystals from my uh, altar. And I was like, okay, I need this one and this one. And they, they stayed with me during the bath. I didn't plan that. I wasn't like, okay, today I'm going to pick those crystals and go take this bath and I'm going to do a healing on myself. No. I felt it and I did it. There was no plan. Sometimes it's better that way. So you just need to really accept that whatever is supposed to happen is going to happen. It will feel right. You will go with the flow. You know, you, you can maybe make some active choices of getting some, let's say you want to create some art, maybe get some supplies out, put them out to the side. You'll see them there. But if you don't get to it, then it's okay. Okay. You don't, um, you need to just accept where you're at and what you're able to do at this moment, because this time is a time of rest. It really is for the whole planet. Mother Earth is resting. So just let yourself soften into that state of rest, the state of, the state of stillness. Accept everywhere, everything you do, everything you're able to do right now, everything you're able, like not able to do, that's okay. Just be at peace with whatever you're doing or not doing. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you soon.